Hey everyone, I'm Laurencio and welcome to the second volume of Puzzle Games for the Sony PSP. In Fading Shadows you control an orb, but you don't control the orb directly, you control a beam of light. You can shoot the beam more intensely or at a lower intensity and the orb follows the beam of light. Also the orb has three states, a metal state which is sensible to water, if the orb gets in the water the orb will rust, a glass state that shatters easily and you can turn the orb also into wood so that you can float on water. You can change the state of the orb whenever you want by pressing the triangle button. The game consists of 40 levels. But I have to warn you, this game is frustrating. It's difficult, so play it only if you like frustrating and difficult games. The difficulty consists on some platform jumps or other finicky levels where you need to have the best precision ever. And the controls don't make up for such a level of control. In Blokus Portables you create a character and get into an inn where everyone plays Blokus. And you have to challenge everyone to become Blokus champion. And the game is called Streambot Championship because the characters are from the Streambot Chronicle universe. In this game you have to place pieces on the grid. You can't place pieces directly next to each other. You can only connect them at their corners. And this gets more and more challenging the more the game advances. The game ends when a player can't place pieces anymore. Also you can rotate the pieces like you would in Tetris. The game is okay if you're into blokes. Crush is a puzzle game where you have to switch perspectives from 2D to 3D in order to progress in the game. The plot has something to do with a guy that has insomnia so he gets to a facility for a cure but instead winds up in this weird dreams where you have to switch from 3D to 2D and back. I think the video is self explanatory on how the game works. If the game looks appealing to you, try it. PQ2 Practical Intelligence Quotient 2 includes over 250 puzzles. And what was great about the game was that you could download more puzzles. In the game you solve puzzles. You have to get to the end of a level by pushing boxes, avoiding traps or do other brain work. The game has some really tough levels too that will challenge you. Also it's nice that you get a level editor too, where you can create your own level. The game is amazing for any hardcore brain game fan. Capcom Puzzle World is a puzzle collection. It includes Buster Bros, Super Buster Bros, Buster Buddies, Block Block and Super Puzzle Fighter 2, which is the meat of the game. I say that because the other ones feel like more of a quick play game. You play them, you like them, but they don't hook you nor give you motivation to play, or at least this was the case for me. Well, Super Street Fighter 2 does. It's a puzzle game with style. You have to match colors when you match a sphere piece, the matched colors explode and you score, and whenever a character scores, he or she lands a hit. The game feels rather like you unlock a theater piece whenever you score. It's interesting nonetheless. The game has 8 characters and even unlockables, so if the game looks appealing to you, go for it. In Exit you play as Mr. Escape and go in dangerous situations to save people. You get into burning buildings, flooded buildings, buildings hit by an avalanche or a blackout and you have to save the people trapped. There are 3 types of people. Young adults that can jump high but can go on fragile platforms, adults that are the most useful as they have almost all of Mr. Escape's abilities except that they don't jump as high, and injured people that are the toughest as they can't move on their own. And the puzzles are challenging, you get over a hundred of them and can download more, the game is a great brain flexor. Lemmings is a puzzle game that is better played on a PC. In Lemmings you control some lemmings and have to lead them to the end of a level. Problem is, lemmings are stupid and jump to their death. You can take control of lemmings and put them to build bridges and ladders or destroy structures to progress, but this works best on a PC where you have a mouse and the screen is bigger. On the PSP the screen is tiny and the joystick is more finicky to control lemmings, which ruins part of the fun. The game is still good though, 
and you get over 150 levels to complete, you can download even more, it will keep you occupied for some time for sure. And it's fun to play, even if the PSP version is inferior to the PC experience. Mm.